All right, what often happens when you're selling something on auction, in this case, we decided to sell this gold jewelry. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we're in the cabin here. Normally we start our Sunday show. It's our, sh it's our short shipping day. So we usually come in here and we do just pick out five or six items. Today I think we have seven. We start the show outside, but it's raining out there. I don't know if you can hear that. But it's raining, so I can't start the show out there, plus it's dark. <laughs> so we're going to start it in here today. We're going to pick out, like I said, I think seven items, and then of course a couple of Inaman. Normally we'll do 10 or 15 or something like that. Keep it a little bit shorter so we have time to squeeze in a couple of questions at the end today. Also have a bunch of stuff. Check this out. That just came from the post office box. Eight packages. You guys are incredibly generous to us. We appreciate it. We'll open a few today. We'll get the kids out here. One of them was addressed to Turner, so I don't know. Reagan might be jealous, so we'll have to get them out here. And I'm sure some of these are ornaments, and we'll have to check those out. So have one more item that is going to go out to somebody that I want to talk about today that's not a sale, but I do want to talk about that as well. And I'll talk about one other thing in just a minute, and that has to do with eBay auctions. But I'm going to pick a couple items first, and then we'll check that out. All right, first item is a hat, and it's been hanging around a while. I thought this one would do better than it did, but it took a long time and only sold for 12 bucks. Still going to be a profit of about 6 but I'll take it. All right, should be, if I can find a purple top. Is that it right there? High Country Moist Snuff. There it is right there. And I thought it would be a little bit better than it was. Look at that. They even have a warning. <laughs> this product may cause gum disease and tooth loss. You have to put that on the hat? <laughs> All right. This one is a K-Products hat. It's obviously not an early K-Products hat, but if you guys are uh, hat aficionados out there, you know K-Products is a good one to pick up, especially if it's that John Deere one that we sold twice last year. That was great. I wish I'd find one more of those. So we made over 500 bucks on those. That was pretty good. But at any rate, nothing amazing. Kind of that old Colorado Rocky style there. That purple and black. But uh, I think I paid a dollar for it. And it sold for 12 so not going to be amazing. But we'll make our 6 bucks and move on. Alright, if you've been watching the Commonwealth Picker channel, the garage sale channel, there's a video entitled Huge Score not too long ago. And it's where I got the Wiley Coyote that was sitting up there. And now we have the Creepy Rabbit back. That thing's, I can't wait till Easter comes around. We're going to get rid of you. Make some money. <laughs> And this one right here, and it is a Beckett graded card, which is not great by any stretch. And it's a, a nine near mint, and it's not the best card in the world. But it is still kind of cool. There's the Beckett.com. And I got this. I mean, we made so much money at that little sale, and I still have so much to list. But this and this, I think, went to a viewer. Because this is kind of an odd mix here for a non-viewer. But... It's possible it didn't, and I don't want to mention the name. So if you want me to mention your name, because I didn't see a message, let me know, and I will certainly do that. But in case it was a gift or something, I don't want to mention it. So we, we do appreciate it if you are a viewer and the likelihood that you are. I think 30, right around $30 plus shipping, I think, on these. 32 maybe, 31 something like that. All right, so that hat's been hanging around a while, and this jacket is on the far left of my inside closet where I hang jackets. Which means I bet you from the looks of where it is, I think this thing's been hanging around for just about a year, not quite. It's a nice jacket we picked up. I think I paid $5 for it, which I don't like to pay, you know, too much more than that. Unless it's a Majestic. This is not, but it is genuine merchandise. And it's Logo Athletic. And a lot of times on that old Logo Athletic, you'll find the hang tags like this. And it says Logo on it. But this has an MLB one on it. But you'll see that emblem right there. The old Logo logo 7 stuff is pretty good. But anyway, this is a good jacket though. Nice, size XL. And it's a great little jacket. St. Louis Cardinals sold for $35 plus shipping on that one. All right, so before we get the kids in here, I want to talk about one thing because I'm going to praise Reagan a little bit. And I don't want her to hear it, so no, I'm kidding. I praise her all the time. But let's check this out. All right, what often happens when you're selling something on auction, in this case, we decided to sell this gold jewelry. This was the only piece of gold I picked up this year. And I paid a dollar for it. And it's 10 carat. I have Reagan, you'll see her writing there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says 14K and 10K. I'll have her look them up. I've already kind of done a cursory look at it. 
and then I'll give her our little magnets and our jeweler's loops here and I'll have her come in and write on it just so that when I do decide to list it I'll know what it is even though I knew when I bought it sometimes I'll forget and then I'll have to relook it up so it's good practice for her to be looking at these things and be using the magnets and stuff like that so she said 14k I think for the cross I don't know if you can see that or not and then the gold chain right there is 10k I think I might have them backwards at any rate we weighed them on our scale right here she loves weighing them and we came up with 2.2 grams I think I don't need to show you all that a lot of you have bought these through our affiliate links we do appreciate it they're not very much at all they're really really cheap you could probably buy all that for like 12 13 bucks and put it on auction a lot of times you know jewelry sells for the value of the jewelry not just the weight of the gold so i put in there jewelry or scrap and i just uh listed it as an auction 99 cents it went up to 175 dollars i think plus shipping you know we paid a buck for it so that's pretty cool but they haven't paid yet so that happens often uh, I hate to say it happens a little bit more to YouTubers than it does to other folks, but <laughs> I don't think that's the case here. So, at any rate, I can't wait for them to pay on that one, but you know what? If they don't, somebody's going to pay for this. The price of gold's pretty good right now. Let me know any gold finds out there this year. Last year, I made over $1,000 in gold. We did a couple of videos about it on the Commonwealth Picker channel. If you're new to gold, just look up Commonwealth Picker jewelry or gold or something like that, and you should find a couple of videos on it. And I like to do that. I'm no expert, but I'm getting a little bit better thanks to some viewers out there who have helped me out along the way too. And Brandon, the master picker, who you'll find in one of those videos going way back. Hey, Turner. How you doing? Good. <laughs> we got a homeschool hustler store sale. What you got? Um, Thomas. Christmas Thomas the Trains. Yeah. So this is, who's this? Snowy Rosie and Sydney. And they got Christmas lights. She's got a wreath. What's this thing? Um. I don't know, but when you press this, it lights up. There you go. Cool. Yeah. Which reminds me, he said in the message, he's, this is going to Japan, Turner. Japan. Japan. $20 plus shipping. Okay, so that's pretty good. This is pure profit. We're going to end up making a ton of money off of that little Thomas bucket that we bought. We're already approaching about $100. Actually, we probably went over it with this sale in profits. And we still got a few more to go, like these right here. So at any rate, that's plenty of money for you to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and do it. You got it. And we're supposed to take the batteries out of this and pack it with extreme care, he said. So we're going to have to do a good job packing. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, we got Reagan. CommonwealthPicker.com store. What's sold today? Uh, we get things moving shirt and a mug. Okay. And who got what? Uh, Roy got the mug. Yeah, I think you're right. And then Darcy got the shirt. Yep, and that reminds me, since Darcy's been waiting for the right size to come in, and it finally came in. We got resupplied up there. I have a box of new stuff up there, huge box. And we're going to get that stuff stocked. So if you've been waiting on a particular size, they all came in today, and we have reloaded everything. Okay? Yep. That's awesome. And you know what else, Reagan? I saw somebody selling your stickers on eBay. What? Yep. Somebody's Darcy. selling one of your stickers. One of these stickers right here. That's and crazy. you know what? You sell them for $6.99 free shipping. You know what they're selling them for? What? $6.95. <laughs> so if y'all want to save four cents, head on over there to eBay and bid on that one because you might get four cents. What do you think? Should you lower your price four cents to compete? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reagan. Thank you. Bye. And don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. Hey, before I forget, I want to mention one thing really quickly. And the reseller community is really pretty tight-knit and very, very kind, very generous. And I just want to mention something. I was on a, a channel the other day watching a charity auction. I was invited to go on, but I usually don't go on any shows. It was Bluegrass Pickers. It was Anthony's channel. And I know Nana Tink was there helping out and some other folks. And they were doing an auction and giving the proceeds, 100% of the proceeds, to another reseller who was in a little bit of need so that reseller is awesome she's been awesome to me on all kinds of things going on inside of uh, the youtube community as well and moderating things and i just decided that i'd uh, donate something and i want to mention who bought it and how much they paid for it and their generosity really quick all right so what i did was i took one of the mugs that's out of circulation here one of the first edition mugs that we decided to keep a few just to do stuff like this with 
And uh, we put it up there and somebody bought it and of course an in a man with it as well. And it was $50, so that's very generous for a mug. So Dan from Art Vandalay, you have a great channel by the way. I like this, look, Christmas tree, what do you know? Okay, <laughs> but I wanted to mention Dan and your kindness. You've been watching our show for a long time and we do appreciate it. And if y'all don't mind going over there and checking out his channel, I'm sure he'd appreciate it and I would too. This is headed your way and uh, hopefully we'll get it there in one piece. It is a misfit in a man. As you see, it's missing the M right there. But if you're new to the channel, there it is. When in doubt, parted out. So that was uh, addition number one. Of course, we have these two mugs right now too. So thank you, Dan. We do appreciate it. He's headed your way. These things sound like hotcakes. <laughs> I don't know why. This is two cream colored ones because I'm out of the brown and cream combination for back backgammon pieces. I don't know. Six bucks. What the heck? Down to one more of these. I thought it was sold out because somebody bought a bunch of them. And then I realized I miscounted, so I had to put a couple more back up there, and we've sold a few cents. And this is, I bought this. If you go back and look at Commonwealth Picker, it's Amazon bookseller retiring or getting out of the business or something like that. Maybe I'll, if I can remember, I'll link it, but sometimes I forget that. And picked these up for next to nothing. The guy was like liquidating. He was moving, I think, to Michigan. So at any rate, uh, we're selling these for $12.99 plus shipping, so it's... You know, after fees and shipping here, well, of course, it's plus shipping. After fees, it's pretty much all profit. So a little bit over 10 bucks profit on these, closer to 11, I suppose. Against all odds, Israel survives. I think that's a pretty good title for... I'll tell you what. I'll give you a little history lesson in just a second. So I can't help it, y'all. I can't help it. I don't get to teach my kids this, this year. It's, it's all virtual. And I mean, I have some kids in class, but it's just not the same. And I would be typically going over on Monday... Uh, which is when you're going to know you're going to see this on Sunday. Uh, on Monday, I would be going over Hanukkah and the history of Hanukkah a little bit because it's coming up. So hang around. We'll talk about two Inaman real quick, and then I'll uh, give you a little history lesson. Hey, one Inaman sold off of the eBay store. I just posted one. I've been doing like one a day lately. And then one misfit out of the CommonwealthPicker.com store. This one's going to Anthony, so we hope he gets things moving for you, Anthony. And the other one's going to Kim. I'm going to read this. People ask me, why do you always look up there? I'm reading stuff. That's why I look up here. Thanks for the great content. Me and my husband watch your channels and love your advice and positivity. Well, thank you. Just started full-time selling on eBay this year. Needed one of these for good luck. Kim Photographer is my shop. So thank you. We appreciate it. It's headed your way. All right, turn off if you don't want the brief history lesson. And if uh, you're one of our Jewish friends out there, maybe you need to give me the lesson. So 2nd century B.C.-ish. Okay, the whole process starts a little sooner, but we're talking like 175-ish, I think, 165, somewhere in there. There's, there's a decade in there where there's quite a bit of strife. So what happens here is the Jewish homeland, Israel, and their temple is just constantly being taken over. You can go all the way back to Assyria, Assyria, Babylon, Persia. And eventually, Alexander the Great comes out of Macedonia, the Greeks, and conquers the region but he dies, and when he dies, the empire gets split up amongst his generals. And those families are basically warring over it until the Romans take over. Well, it's during that time period where you have different Greek rulers of different places. The Ptolemies of Egypt, and you've got Greeks in Syria, and they're constantly battling over this land. The wrong person ends up with Jerusalem. The wrong person. In this case, the wrong person. Ends up with Jerusalem, ends up with the temple. They dedicate it to Zeus, to a Greek god Zeus. That's Antiochus Epiphanes. And that's just too much for the Jewish high priests. So they just can't handle that. And they have a revolt and they take it back over, over a long period of time. They try to rededicate it, but there's defiled oil. And they eventually take just a tiny bit of oil and they use it and it makes it last eight days. Hey, Hanukkah is coming, I think this year it's the 10th. I think if I'm right, the 10th through the 18th. Eight crazy nights, Adam Sandler. <laughs> All right, thank you for letting me be a teacher for a minute. We appreciate it. We're going to head back outside in just a second and uh, show you something else. I'm not quite sure, but we appreciate you being here. But we appreciate you being here, and as always, we'll see you next time. All right, y'all, we're going to open up a couple things. Let's start with this one right here. I'm going to read this while y'all check out what's there. Check them out. So it says, Homeschool Hustlers, Blue Ridge Mama, and Commonwealth Picker. From our home and death pile to yours. A little something for the Homeschool Hustler store and for Blue Ridge Mama. I know it's for Blue Ridge Mama. She loves Garfield. It's like Keith from Minnesota. <laughs> you like that? Soft? 
You like that? Who's inside there, Turner? Oh, I know who that is. That's yeah, Bug Bunny. That oh, look at that. Rascally Wabbit. Oh. Garfield. Garfield. Oh, she's going to love Garfield. those. Look at this. You know who this is, y'all? There's another movie. Yeah. This is Back to the Future. Have you seen Back to the Future, y'all? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have. Yeah. And that's a DeLorean. And you know, that guy's name is Emmett Brown. You know what You know what your great-grandfather's name was? What? Emmett Brown. <laughs> yeah. My grandfather. Emmett Brown. I think they spelled it different. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. So anyway, thank y'all so much. And I'll let y'all check out the rest of that. Attic, is that Attic House? Houster? So, anyway, Blue Ridge Mama may want to keep those mugs. Yes, you might very well do that. Hey, thank y'all. That was very, very kind of you. We do appreciate it. And we should probably go up and tell Blue Ridge Mama that she's got some gifts. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to take them up in a minute? All right. Bye. All right, Reagan's making her directorial de debut yeah. here. All right, Turner. Let's check it out. What'd you get? <gasps> oh, my gosh. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah. You like that? It's yeah. glass one. I think Bubba had this one, and he broke it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to like that one. We're going to put yeah. that one on the tree over there. Where yeah. do you want to put it? Let's go look. Where do okay. you think? Where do you want to put it? Uh, right in the front? Yeah. I'm going to put it right there? That is awesome. I like it. Me too. What do you think? Ooh, I almost broke it. <laughs> Holy moly. How about that? Think that's good? I'm gonna tilt it up so it doesn't break. Cool. All right, let's look at what they say. It says, hi Turner, I thought uh, your idea that the viewers send ornaments was brilliant. <laughs> Had to send this one because every time I see you in your dad's videos wearing a Spider-Man costume, I laugh out loud. <laughs> My son, who's 21, used to wear his every day when he wasn't in school. I hope you have a great Christmas, Amy. And there's her eBay store and her Instagram. Y'all go check her out. Awesome. That's cool. Tell Amy yeah. thank you. Thank you, Amy. All right, Turner is doing some videotaping now, and Reagan's going to open something. And while you open it, I'm going to read this, okay? Hi, Kevin and family. We love watching your channel daily. I saw your post on Instagram about filling your mini tree with ornaments. Ooh. Wanted to send one from Colorado. Check that out. That's cool. Hope your family has a wonderful holiday. Keep up yeah. the great content. From Kathy, Chris, Connor, and Cy. Boy, that's a lot of C's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we go by Ginger Marvin on YouTube and Instagram. Awesome. I like that. Can I see it? Yeah. Cool. It's a pin. It is, it's a pin. Oh, look at that. It's a pin, y'all. Did y'all make these or did you pick one up? We like it. Colorado. Sweet. We're going to put that up. Appreciate it. Hey, it's Sunday, which always means there's time for a question. So I wanted to do one that I just got yesterday or a couple days ago and then do an old one that I have on video. So we're going to throw a couple of questions in. This is from Wendy Mill. She says she saw the Quiet Tape King tape in the Amazon store, our uh, affiliate links below in the video description or on Instagram. I don't know where she saw them. And she said, could you do a demo for me? And I said, absolutely, because I can shamelessly plug my affiliate links and I can do the demo for you. <laughs> All right, so here's the non-Tape King, the, the normal tape that I use right here, right? There you go. So that's the normal tape. Okay, here's the Tape King, quiet tape. Right there. And there's some other, the Duck brand stuff, it's expensive, but that stuff's quieter. It's probably not as quiet as this, but it's definitely more quiet than that. And it's more durable. This is also better tape. So at any rate, thank you, Wendy, for the question. I hope that helps. I have a question from, I don't know how to pronounce it, P-H-X-E-R-I-S. When listing an item to sell, what is MPN number? It's manufacturer part number, and a lot of items don't have it. You know, usually you can find it when an item is new, but, uh, you know, even when there is one, sometimes I don't put it on there, to be honest. So, at any rate, uh, that's what it stands for. Thanks for the question. Question from Early Bird Picker. Do you put your bit? He has a YouTube channel, by the way, and a shit. Uh, do you put your business cards in your eBay packages? If so, does anyone that's not already a viewer watch the video and then give you feedback that they're mad at you because you made such a good profit on the item and they paid so much? I'm wanting to grow my YouTube channel and I've thought about getting cards to put in the packages, but I don't want to make anyone mad at their purchases. So here's the deal. First, there's a few questions in there. I don't put, I don't put cards in every single uh, item. I put cards in items that people 
that buy them, they might be the type of person that might watch YouTube channel. You know, collectibles, toy, that kind of stuff. But, you know, some things I'm just like, this person doesn't care about my YouTube channel. But let me tell you this. I have yet to have one person, maybe somebody out there can uh, answer this, if they got to my YouTube channel and are a regular viewer of my YouTube channel because of a card that they got in an eBay package. I would love to know that. I don't think it's happened one time. So if you're trying to grow your YouTube channel by putting cards in there with your YouTube channel, uh, it's probably not, not worth the money that you'd spend on the cards, as far as I know. So there's my answer to the question. Uh, it is nice, though, to be able to put a little note in something. Maybe you get some feedback. Maybe you put on the card, you know, please leave some feedback. You know, contact me first before you leave. Negative. There's, there's definite pluses to it. So there you go. And I throw in a sticker. Actually, I don't put in the stickers unless I know it's a viewer that buys it. And if it's a viewer, if I know it's a viewer, I throw in a sticker or two, whatever. So anyway, there you go. Reagan tells me if they buy two things, they get two stickers. I'm like, really? And she's like, yes. If they buy three things, they get three stickers. <laughs> So there you go. So if you buy something from the from the homeschool hustler store and you buy two things, you get two stickers, according to Rick. If you buy something out of the CommonwealthPicker.com store, she puts them in there, so she does whatever she wants. <laughs> there you go. So uh, at any rate, thanks for the question. Appreciate it.